to change the flame safeguard relay, first turn the disconnect switch to the off position and remove all existing wires on the original Fenwall flame safeguard relay board. Once the wires are removed, remove the two quarter inch screws which mount the flame safeguard relay to the sub panel. Once the screws are removed, remove the original board and install the new board. Be careful not to pinch any wires behind the board prior to securing the screws. Once the mounting screws are tight, reinstall the wires back on the new flame safeguard relay. Be sure to place the wires on the proper spade terminals. Once the wires are all installed back on the board, verify the connections are tight and there are no loose connections. Once the new board is installed, it is important to verify the operation of the board and is functioning properly. You will need a DC microamp meter, turn to DC microamps. You will remove the red wire off the Fenwall board and place your meter in series at that point. Do this by removing the wire, placing the black alligator clip on the push on on the wire that you removed. Take the red alligator clip and place it on the spade of the board marked FP. And so make sure that it's secure and it is on FP. At this point, turn your disconnect switch back on blower switch in local and the blower will come on. Once the blower is on, turn the burner toggle switch to the on position. After a few seconds it will fire. At this point monitor your flame signal and verify that is adequate. You are looking for a 3 to 5 microamp signal. Once it's ran for several seconds you can turn the burner switch to the off position. At this point, remove the meter and place the red wire back on the FP terminal. Place the blower switch in the off position. Disconnect switch off, both toggles in remote.